Cheese Rockford AOA Cedar Training. The purpose of this training is to inform Emory Air employees of Rockford Airport AOA and CETA locations, identifying and following the rules of the RFD badges, the airport door and gate responsibilities, rules concerning securing unattended aircraft, controlling access to Emory Air secure areas, and Emory Air issued identification. Rockford AOA and CETA. Aircraft Operations Area, AOA. AOA is also known as the Air Operations Area and Airport Operations Area. The AOA encompasses all the land inside the perimeter fence. Security Identification Display Area, CETA. Security Identification Display Area is the area with the highest level of security on the airport. Only persons with valid CETA badges may enter. CETA at the Rockford Airport is located on the main terminal ramp. It includes the areas behind the ticket counters and the upper level sterile area. It also includes the cargo ramps and the cargo facilities. The CETA sterile area is that part of the terminal where screened passengers wait for boarding. Airport Identification Badges the blue AOA badge allows AOA access only. CETA access is not permitted with a blue badge. The red CETA badge allows total access to the AOA and the CETA area. Yellow contractor badges allow AOA access only. All badges have the individual's name, photograph, employer, badge number, and expiration date. Some badge holders have endorsements for ramp driving, airfield driving, or emergency access. Other approved IDs are FAA Form 110s for FAA employees and flight crew company IDs provided they remain within the vicinity of their aircraft. Escorting. Only those employees with proper seat of badging have unescorted access to the airport. All unbadged personnel must be escorted by someone with a CETA badge. A person may only be escorted for work-related purposes. Escorted personnel must remain in the line of sight and within speaking distance of their escort. If you are the escort, never leave a person you are escorting alone. You must wear your ID at all times. You must be above the waist, below the neck, and on your outermost garment. IDs may not be shared. Never give your ID to anyone. Damaged, illegible, or expired IDs are no longer valid. CETA badges do not enable you to bypass security when traveling. If you forget your ID at home, you must retrieve it. You cannot be escorted once you've been issued an airport ID. Airport badges are the property of the airport and must be returned if employment is terminated. If you fail to return it, you will be fined by the airport. Expired badges must be returned or renewed. You must report lost or stolen badges to airport operations immediately. Fines will apply if operations is not notified. Challenge Procedures you must challenge individuals who do not have the proper ID. Approach the person in a non-threatening manner. If they cannot produce a valid ID, escort them out of the area. Do not restrain the person, but make sure you contact airport operations or airport police as soon as possible. You may receive door or gate privileges if your job duties require them. To open, hold your badge within five inches of the reader. When the green light flashes, enter your pin and the pound sign. Open the door or gate and pass through alone, unless you're escorting someone without a badge. 
In that case, the person must follow immediately behind you. Ensure the door or gate securely closes after you go through. To exit a door, press the green button. Pass through and close the door. To exit a gate, drive close to it and pass through when it opens. Do not drive away until it completely closes behind you. If you hold a door or gate open, you will set off an alarm. Call airport operations immediately if this occurs. Door and gate responsibilities. The person opening the door or gate is responsible for all activity going through the gate or door. Everyone going through the door or the gate must present their own ID into the reader and enter their own PIN, not just the first person to open the door. Failure to do so is called piggybacking and is not allowed. If a door or gate malfunctions and will not secure, contact airport operations or law enforcement. Remain where you are until they arrive to relieve you. If you find an open or unsecured door or gate, remain where you are. Contact operations or law enforcement and wait for their arrival. AOA CETA Training Summary Keep control of your badge at all times. Keep control of persons you are escorting at all times. Keep control of doors or gates you enter or exit. Report suspicious activity to law enforcement or airport operations. Remember, you are one of the airport's eyes and ears for security. Emory Air Secure Area Access Securing an unattended aircraft Unattended aircraft that are currently under control of the 145 repair station must be secured from unauthorized movement by one of the following means. Secured in a locked hangar. If outside the hangar, all doors and access hatches must be locked and any stairs used to access the aircraft must be moved away from it. If an aircraft is unable to be locked, it must be blocked or prevented from moving by Parking a vehicle in its path and the keys to the blocking vehicle must be removed and kept under the control of an Emory Air AOA CETA badged employee. Parking the aircraft in such a fashion where it is unable to be taxied, such as nosed against a building, or by some other means of physically preventing the aircraft engines from being operated. Aircraft that are parked at the FBO or on the west hangar ramp are considered secured if one of the following conditions are met. An Emory Air employee is at the front desk to monitor the ramp or the street side doors to the FBO are locked. Aircraft that have been released for maintenance and parked outside during non-working hours of the repair station will be treated as unattended unless one of the following conditions are met. They're parked on the west hangar ramp or they are secured in accordance with the options two or three talked about earlier. Controlling access to secure areas. Any person wishing to enter an Emory Air secure area must have a valid reason to require access and valid form of identification. The required identification is determined by the area they require access. Secure areas. Emory Air secure facilities consist of the following. All Emory Air hangars, to include both West hangars, the East Hangar GSC and ULD shops, and the Falcon Road hangar. This includes the ramp space immediately adjacent to our facilities. Valid reasons for access. Emory Air employees in the performance of their assigned duties. Rockford Airport employees in the performance of their duties. FAA, TSA, or Department of Homeland Security inspectors in the performance of their duties and a pilot or flight crew member that requires access to their aircraft. Access to the ramp. Persons requiring unescorted access to the ramp that have a valid reason must possess one of the following types of identification. Rockford AOA receipt of badge, FAA issued pilot's license, FAA TSA or DHS issued identification badge or credentials. 
Non-emory vehicles allowed on the ramp must be escorted at all times. Limousines or other customer-owned vehicles picking up or dropping off customers may, after being confirmed with the customers, be allowed onto the ramp. These vehicles must remain parked in the view of the FBO front desk or be escorted by an Emory employee. Taxis and other methods of public transportation are not allowed onto the ramp area. Personnel without an AOA CETA badge ramp endorsement requiring ramp access for work-related purposes must be escorted at all times. This includes employees dropping off or picking up toolboxes and freight haulers picking up or delivering cargo. Access to the hangars. Any person requiring unescorted access to the hangar area must have a valid reason to require access and one of the following types of identification. A Rockford Airport issued AOA CETA badge, FAA issued pilot's license, FAA, TSA, or DHS issued identification badge or credentials, Emory Air issued ID badge, or an Emory Air issued visitor's badge. Contractors and customer representatives working at Emory Air will have an Emory Air ID badge issued to them. This badge allows unescorted access to their assigned hangars. Known vendors and service providers will be issued an Emory Air Visitor's Badge and are allowed unescorted access to our hangar and facilities on a per-visit basis. Emory Air ID Badges will be issued to contractors, customers, and vendors who will be working on site for a period longer than seven days. Emory Air Visitor Badges will be issued to customers, vendors, and service providers who are on site for seven days or less. Secure Area Summary. Ensure all unattended aircraft are properly secured. Keep control of all Emory Air secure areas. Validate reasons for access to ramp and hangars. And ensure all individuals are issued proper badging prior to entering secure areas. This concludes the Rockford AOA CIDA Secure Area Training Presentation. Thank you for your time and your attention.